The Santos Tour Down Under for the first time in the women's race, a World Tour race. The premier division of world cycling. Zip track stage one, starting in Glenelg, making its way through to Aldinga, 110.4 kilometres. A small fall early in the neutral zone, a couple of the riders getting caught up in the tram tracks. For Stuart O'Grady, the race director, he's waited a couple of years for this. There was a pause after 2020. He took over as the race director. This is his first time in the chair with it being a World Tour race. O'Grady, the winner of the first ever edition of the Tour Down Under back in 1999. As the flag dropped, the first 20 kilometres were on wide open roads with a headwind. Once they turned off the major road down towards the south, the attacks were on and they were on in earnest. The Norwegian team thick amongst the action, trying to get into the breakaway. Shortly thereafter there was a crosswind. The peloton split. 16 riders getting out in front but it was the FDJ team that decided they wanted to close things down, working in support of their team leader. Grace Brown recently crowned the Australian individual time trial champion after what was a brilliant 2022. It was her teammate, though, who picked up the points in the race for the first of the FX Queen of the Mountains classification. Gladys Verhulst sprinting across the line ahead of Steeles, and then it was Edwards in third position. On a fast descent, an unfortunate fall. Keely Bennett from Team Bridge Lane going down heavily. The good news, under bad circumstances, she borrowed the phone of the paramedic to call her mum and tell her she's got abrasions, but she is going to be okay. For the first intermediate sprints for the zip track points classification, importantly, it was a win for Grace Brown, picking up a three-second time bonus going towards the general classification. Second position, that went to Alex Manley of Jaco Olula. Third place was Ruby Roseman Gannon into the second portion of the stage and it was one of the youngest riders in the race Izzy Carnes of ARA Skip Capital who went on the charge. She was quickly then joined by a rider from Bridge Lane which was Gina Ricardo. The French woman was desperately trying to get across. That was Niermont from Saint Michel but she didn't quite make it. Through the second of the sprints in Wollonga and it was Carnes picking up the points and the time bonus and then the peloton was breathing down their neck. Trek, Segafredo took over control. They caught the breakaway and they split the peloton and there were more falls as there was the fight for position towards the front. Unfortunately, three riders having to abandon the race. Punching through the middle in the sprint finish though, it was Daria Pikolik who took her first ever World Tour win in her first ever World Tour race. What an occasion. Second position went to Clark Sarah Capone, third place was Georgia Baker. Delight for the Polish star. With the stage victory, she also takes the leader's jersey. She goes to the top of the general classification. The time bonus is giving her a small buffer.